With us in the studio today, we have English professor Dr. Barbara Gordon. Thank you so much for being with us today. In addition to founding the Writing Center on campus, she is a breast cancer survivor herself. So thank you so much for coming to share your story with us. Um, we have your lovely book here as well. Um, so what made you want to take your experiences, obviously that's an amazing accomplishment that you're a survivor, and put them into book form? Oh, thank you for having me, Ashley. I wrote this book because um, there wasn't a lot of information for women who are diagnosed with late stage breast cancer. There's a lot of information for early stage, but once the cancer metastasizes, I think it might be part of our culture's denial of, of uh, death, but there wasn't a lot of information. And I got metastasized, I, I was thought to have metastasized cancer. It was a mistaken diagnosis, but having that extra time in life, I decided I want to do something that could benefit those women who need yeah. information on late stage. And that's so great. And that's what this month is all about. That's what this show is all about, spreading awareness. Um, even with Breast Cancer Awareness Months and things, what do you think are common misconceptions about the disease? I think some common misconceptions are, are that sometimes younger people worry about it more than they need to. I mean, it is a disease that the older you get, that's, you're more likely to have it. In fact, on autopsies of women in their 70s, um, most women have it, but it's not life-threatening. So it's not like you want to not pay any attention to it when you're younger, but I don't think young people have to be especially concerned. Mm -hmm. But it's great to you know spread awareness and things like this so that we do take the taboo nature away from it, I guess, and you are such a wonderful part of that with your book and coming on the show today. Um, how has this influenced your, uh, uh, your teaching style here at Elon? Well, you know, writing a book is a, is a huge undertaking. It's very uh, difficult. And so I have great empathy for my students. As a writing teacher myself, it, it is a gigantic undertaking to, do, <laughs> to go into areas that you don't know very well. Like I had to read a lot of medical journals. I had an interview. I wrote this with some oncologists and a pharmacologist. So I understand the challenges. A little um, more sympathy for your students, definitely, maybe. Definitely. <laughs> Some extended deadlines, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming uh, on the show today and for sharing our book. And uh, on our website, we'll have more information about that. So you can read more about uh, this very important and relevant uh, disease and this month. So thank you so much for coming to join us.